Good evening, everybody. It is our third signing in about four days, um, which is mental because we'll also never do that. I'm here with Matt, who is part of a Trip to the Moon podcast, which is about Tranmere Rovers, which is half why we're here. Uh, firstly, Matt, thank you for coming on at very short notice. No worries. Thanks for having me. That's all right. So we are here to talk about Manny Month. That is what we agreed and how we're pronouncing his name. Um it's a player that I don't think we were really expecting to sign. Um, a proven League Two defender. Um, quite a uh, imposing figure as well um, at the back there. So what are your thoughts on him as a player? You've had him for, is it three seasons now? Three and a half seasons? Yeah, he initially came to Tramia on loan in 2018 and then made that um, a permanent move from Forest Green. So he actually played in the Forest Green team that beat us at Wembley um, to, to go up in the National League a few years ago. In terms of what he's like as a player, you, you use the word imposing and he's he's got a, a big stature, obviously, um, and can be a very commanding um, center off, and I think, like many players on his day, he's brilliant. Um, and he certainly played an integral role in, in Tramia's um, double promotion over the last couple of seasons. So he's certainly capable of doing a job in League Two. Um, I'm not too sh- I'm not too familiar with how your team sets up, um, but he, he 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 plays predominantly as a centre half. He has played at left back, but it's definitely not his his best position. And to be fair to him, he only played in that position when we we had uh, outbreaks of COVID in the squad earlier this season. So predominantly a centre half, very good on his day, um, commanding centre centre back, strong, uh, and providing he's got somebody who. Um, what we found is if he's got somebody next to him who is more experienced, maybe. Um, so we had Steve McNulty, who, who had been around the block with a couple of couple of teams who he played with. And also this season, he's played with Peter Clark, who's, who's very experienced. He, he's OK. What we found was that he was, um, he, you know, he... He did make the odd mistake, but again, like like a lot of footballers do, you know, sometimes as a centre half, your mistakes often lead to goals, so that so they're scrutinised in more detail. So I think sometimes a bit of the uh, criticism was was harsh on him, um, but I think for for, for Walsall, he's a great sign and to add to the two that you've already made. Was it a surprise? Because uh, as far as I'm aware, he was released. He hasn't. Um chosen to reject a contract with yourselves was he a player that you would have kept hold of um or was it a like you said after the two promotions after the relegation and then a a season in the playoffs was it sort of time to kind of part ways uh or is he a player that you would have probably tried to keep hold of personally i I wouldn't have been um too averse to keeping him i I think he still could could have done a job for us. Whether whether he would be in the, in the first eleven, I'm I'm not sure. Um, but I think p- particularly when we were promoted from League uh, Two to League One, I think there was a lot of rumours that Portsmouth were in, interested in him, and we were looking at possibly losing him. Uh, he he did. We did manage to keep hold of him, and then I think just his his form sort of took a bit of a dip, really. Um, and he lost his place in the side to somebody, uh, a lad called George Ray, who hadn't played a lot of football at all for Tramia. And he was sort of, we never expected to see George Ray again. And then all of a sudden, Manny had made a couple of mistakes, particularly in our 5-0 game against Exeter last season. And he was dropped and found it difficult to make his way back into the squad. So yeah. I think given that his contract was coming to an end this year, I don't think... He wasn't someone that I think a lot of fans were saying we need to get rid of him, but he also wasn't one of the players that we were saying we desperately want to keep hold of. I think a lot of the fans probably will wish him well, acknowledge the job he'd done for us in, in, the, in the time he was here uh, and, and wish him well. But I think, you know, maybe we don't know whether his head was turned initially by those reports of for going to Portsmouth and whether he, he wanted to move away. I'm not too sure whether he was offered a contract. My, 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 
I suspect he wasn't. I suspect he, he was released. Um, so he was someone, if we would have announced that we'd offered him a new deal, I, I certainly would have, I wouldn't have been too bothered by that. I would have thought he's, he's, he's good enough to have in the squad and it's certainly capable of, of, of playing at, at that level, providing he's got someone solid next to him. So at the moment, uh, you mentioned about what system we are going to play. Uh, I think we have signed up. We've got four centre mids, now two centre backs and two goalkeepers. So at the moment we're going very central as a <laughs> as a system. Um, big turnover. Um, from my point of view, I think it's a good signing for us. It brings in a lot of League Two experience, a bit of League One experience as well, mm-hmm. and someone that's finished, you know, in in his two seasons in League Two, um, playoffs and promotion. I mean, it's not it's not a bad. Um, it's not a bad CV. Um, mm. For the fans who might not know a bit about him, you said that he can play at left back. Did you ever see him in maybe the left side of a back three or was it primarily a, a back four that he was played in? It, it, it varied, to be honest. And when I say he's, he, he can play at left back, I'm, he did. I'm not saying he, he, he necessarily can. I say the, the, the game that he played left back in was against Salford and we were two nil down. We had a lot of um, COVID outbreak that that week, and we were playing a few of our uh, academy players as well. So it was it was a real depleted side when he played uh, left back. He tends to play in the left side of a of, of a central pairing. So Peter Clark would play on the right hand side, and he would play on the left. Occasionally, Tram you do have utilised um, wing-backs and he can play in the left of, of a back three as well. So he's versatile in that sense and he's he's also not scared of getting up getting up for corners and he's scored a couple of goals for us as well. I think he's, he scored a couple against Watford um, in, in our FA Cup games. Um, so he's certainly capable of getting on the score sheet as well. Um and I, I, like I say, I think I think he's a, a great signing for Walsall, and you know he, he will complement the other the other players that you've signed. I mean, Josh Labadee is someone else that Trammy fans are, are, are more than aware of. He played for us for a while, Josh, um, and and I think he's a, he's another good great signing for you as well. Yeah, I think we we have a lack of leadership of the players that are left, and I think Labadee was a big a, a big kind of I mean. <laughs> We expect him to be made captain, um, which I don't think is a bad thing. He's sort of, you know, he's led Newport to multiple good finishes. Um, it does seem like we're trying to get that calibre of player that is used to at least top half finishes and higher. Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of touched on what my next question was going to be. I mean, he's a he's a very tall and physical defender, so he must be good in both boxes. You touched on um, on him kind of attacking sort of set pieces and corners, but would you say that he is a good player to have defending the corner and very good in the air? Yeah, he, he is good in the air. Obviously, his, his physical stature lends itself to that. And I'm just thinking of the goals that he scored. I think certainly one of them against Watford was was with his feet you know it was a shot it wasn't it wasn't a header so he, he's good with his feet as well I think the only the, the, the one criticism I would say was occasionally he would um but and this this I only noticed this particularly when he lost his place and got back in the side was that he started to hit it long a lot and I don't know whether that was a uh, a tactic that he was told to do or whether it was just a lack of confidence on the ball where a couple of his passes, say, for example, I mentioned the Exeter game. One of it, he, he tried to back pass it and gave it away and Exeter come in and I think it was their fourth or fifth goal they scored. We got B5-0. And I think his, he- his head just went a little bit after that and his confidence was, was shot a little bit. And then when he came back into the side, I was noticing that he was... Uh, hitting it long a lot. And like I say, that could have been the instructions given to him uh, because he certainly wasn't the only player that was doing that. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, he's he's more than capable uh, at defending set pieces, but he's also a great option to throw up as well to a, to attack uh, set pieces as well. So it'll, I'll, I'll be really interested as well. I'm interested in what you said about making him... Uh, oh, no, that was about Labadee, wasn't it? Yeah. About club captain, but... What I was going to say in terms of Manny was that it'll be interesting to see his development 
particularly with whether he's paired with someone who is more experienced or whether it's someone with the same yeah, sort of experience with yeah. him, because that might make him, that might be his next stage of development in terms of being the main focus point in a central pairing. Yeah. Um, whereas he's always played not as an understudy, but he's been the less of a less experienced of a back two. Well, we uh, have them. Um, he's a player coach. He played quite a lot last season, but I think it's going to he will phase out more. But we've got Matt Sadler, who is right, yeah. quite well known amongst League One and Two fans because he's been around for you know the last fifty years of football. But um, yeah. I think. If that's right in what you're saying, he might not play with Sadler a lot, but he's got Sadler there as a player coach to learn off, which yeah. sounds like it could be something that, like you said, brings him up to kind of mm. almost step into that leader role um, alongside maybe a younger defender who we've got. And my final my final thing was going to be, um, do you think he's going to get a good reception when Walsall and Tranmere play? Is there any ill feelings between the club and player? No, not not at all. Not 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 that I'm aware of. I think I think Trammy fans certainly recognise, and and from what I've seen on the social media this afternoon, from from when it was announced, um, I mean, he he put a message up a few days back, you know, sort of thanking the club for for his time here and the fans and all that sort of stuff. So we we sort of knew he was going. Obviously, we didn't know where his his next destination was going to be. So I had a quick look on the social media and a lot of our fans obviously wishing him well. And I think generally, like I said before, I think we all appreciate the fact that he was part of a team that had a double promotion yeah. and he was an integral part of that team and certainly and maybe, played a lot of games. Maybe stayed loyal when rumours were swirling. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know how true the Portsmouth rumour was or how much of it was his decision to stay or a fact that Portsmouth weren't offering... The, the money that we wanted. I'm not sure, but I, th I certainly think it, you know, next season providing fans are in the ground, which fingers crossed we all will be. Uh, I think when, when Walsall come up, he'll get a, a really good reception from, from Trammy fans. Great. Uh, that was going to be my final point until you mentioned obviously that you knew Labadee. So my final, final point, would you have Labadee back in the Tranmere side? I would, and and the reason why we were talking, I was we were talking about him on our podcast the other week, uh, and I said the same thing as what I'll say to you now is that he's a player that you love to have in your side, but you absolutely hate to to be playing against him. Um, we've seen he, he he gets stuck in, he can leave his foot in, his disciplinary record has been questionable in yeah, in the not, past. Not playing every game of the season. That's <laughs> I expect a red card at some point from yeah. Joss, but um again someone who someone who gets stuck in, someone who you could never accuse of of not not putting a shift in, you know, yeah. which I think for every football fan, that's the, the minimum requirement. You just want them to put the effort in. Um yeah. and I think certainly with Joss, you know, he, he played against us for Newport in the um playoff final a couple of years back. He's played against us in the league this season as well. And like I say, if he's on your team, you love him. If you're playing against him, you can't stand him because he, yeah. he uses some of the darker arts of the game. Um, but yet, yeah, certainly, uh, when I when I knew that he was getting, he, he wasn't signing for Newport, I was thinking, wonder if he'd come back. And I, I wouldn't have minded him being, because yeah. I think that's something we, we've got, obviously, Jay Spearing in the middle of the pitch, who also likes to get stuck in. Um, but someone like Jossop, I think, is someone that we were we were missing this season. And I think he's he's a terrific sign. Now, I think just based on your early business, I would be looking at Walsall potentially for, for to be looking at the playoffs, certainly. Well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Trying to think we're getting promoted. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and you know what? With a couple of ex-players as well, good luck to you, provide, apart from the two times we'll play. Yeah. Well, you know what's going to happen, don't you? <laughs> I mean, it was when we played you and Andy Cook. We were like, oh, God, yeah, here yeah. we go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Matt, thank you for coming on. Uh, hopefully Anytime. we will catch up before Walsall and Tramir play each other. Yeah. Um, when we've both got full squads, that would be yeah. nice. Yeah, we, 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 we need to do a lot of business as well. I think we've only got... Uh, actually, we've signed a few last last week, so I think we're up to about seven now. But yeah. we were only at four last week. So yeah, we've got plenty yeah. of uh, business to do. Yeah, well, thank you for coming on. And yeah, we'll chat to you soon. Thank you.